Hey everyone, and welcome to this video. I am Mike, and here is my truck. Now, this is going to be the first time camping in this truck. I'm not camping right here. I am actually have another location I'm going to, but there is no outdoor lighting there like there is right here. Thus, I'm going to show you the setup right here and go through the plan here. Then we're going to head over to the location. So, this is my 2014 Ford F-150. It's a crew cab with the six and a half foot bed. And, well, let's go over the whole setup. So, let's try to get this to look right. That's about as good as it's gonna get, I think, guys. Um, this is a six and a half foot bed. The bed under here is a wood bed made from stuff I scrounged up from home and it, it works, okay? It's kind of primitive, but it works. Up there I have my cooler, which was back here. Decided to move up there. Probably gonna bungee that into this corner. And then the Mr. Buddy heater right up there in that corner. Now I do have a carbon monoxide detector right there. And what other mods have I done for my camping setup? Well, there really isn't a whole lot yet, but it's in the making. As you can see, I have wiring right here. This is for the light that's right up there, the brake light and an inside light. Still needs to be wired up and a power block which is right there. I plan to wire that up this weekend. Another thing I did, I rolled in the screens myself. What a pain in the butt. And this insulation on the top, I put that on today to hopefully retain some of the heat from the Mr. Buddy heater. Uh, the sides, there's, it's a lost cause. They're all glass and short of making curtains that are really thick and blackout curtains, which honestly, I'm not really a fan of the idea. I kind of want to be able to see out. Um, it's not really going to work. The truck is very dirty. I actually just came from Niagara Falls and I am now in Perth, Ontario. Now, fun fact about this truck, um, this truck here actually came originally from, well, the original owner at least, lived in Perth, Ontario. So this truck is quite possibly right in its hometown right now. So, in the back here, there's nothing really set up for the camp stuff, but I have my laptop there, a pair of shoes, camera, which I could be using now, right now, but I'm not, <laughs> clothes, of course, uh, just stuff I don't really want getting wrecked in here, because, yeah, there's the uh, power inverter right there, which I could wire up right in the cabin if I wanted to do something with it. But I don't really need to use it right now, so it's not a big deal. It's a very dirty truck right now, though. Oh my god. And I basically hauled from Niagara Falls right to here. As you can see, lots of ice on my headlights. And I have 168, 48 kilometers on it now. Uh, I don't know what that converts out to in miles, but uh, you can tell I've been road tripping a little can there. The ginger ale can was not mine. That was from the other day, my friends. But I have a little bit over there. But it was a good drive up. The truck treated me very well. And yeah, some of you may recognize the location I am going to be camping at tonight because I've been there many times before. Long-time subscribers may actually know exactly where I'm talking about right now. So, we're going to head there right now. And we'll get the Mr. Buddy heater set up. And, holy salty. <laughs> so salty. That handle needs to be greased. It should move like that. That one moves really easy. That one, not so much. 
But yeah, actually before I go from here, let's clean that off. I don't know why that was outside the cat box, but... Let's throw it back in there. And we're going to head off to the campsite. And I will see you there. Because one, it's getting cold out here, and two, I want to go to bed. I will see you there. Well, guys, I'm at my final destination for the night. And... Mr. Buddy Heater. Don't worry guys, I have this window cracked. And this window cracked as well. Once it gets warmed up in here enough and the sleeping bag is warmed up, I'm getting in it. And we're heading to bed. Um, then I'll see you guys in the morning. I might watch a little bit of YouTube on my phone for now and uh, yeah. You guys don't need to see that. It uh, Not only is it copyright, but pretty sure you... You're already watching YouTube. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the morning, and uh, me and my Mr. Buddy will be here getting, uh, making it really, no oh, I don't know, whatever. I'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning, guys. Uh, I survived the night, and it actually wasn't that bad. Uh, I got warmed up in here, got in the sleeping bag, wrap myself in a blanket currently the truck is running I have remote start so I haven't left the back of the truck yet so we're going to get my gloves because I'll be going out and we'll be getting some food I'll take one of them we'll take some cheese And we'll take some chicken. Oh, it's a little cold. I'm gonna dig a water too. So I'm gonna get out and I'll meet you guys in the front of the truck and we'll go over what the plan is for today. Okay guys, so I'm back in the cab of the truck now. As you can see, the windows are all iced up. But uh, it's slowly defrosting. And uh, once it's defrosted, um, we're gonna head off. I found a Lariat grill that I'd like to go take a look at, possibly. If it's still available. And yeah. Go to junkyards too, of course. I am near some of you, that's what they get from, some of you recognize it. The scenery. For those of you that can't tell, I'm in Ottawa right now at my friend's and <coughs> I'm in Ottawa and that was a uh, not really a spontaneous trip, it was planned over a month ago and I plan to have the truck ready for this by now. And I honestly didn't get it as ready as I wanted to, but uh, let's see what today brings us, but that'll be in different videos aside from the grill. Um, the junkyard videos will all be separate, so we will have to just stay tuned for them. But um, for this one, let's see if we can get that grill. Hey everyone, and welcome to this video. Well, actually, welcome back to this video. As you can see, I'm in a car wash bay, and I just got back from Ottawa about a day ago, and I figured I'd wash the truck. I just finished washing it. It was absolutely covered in salt. But the plan now is uh, I did get that grill. Let me just show you it quickly. And in a separate video, we'll show you how to put it on. Please excuse me. Got the grill there. I have the tools in the front seat over there. And, I don't know guys, I'm torn. I'm gonna show you something and I want you to give me your opinion on what you think. 
So, when I got this truck, it came with this bug deflector, which I really do like the look of it on this grill, but I'm really not too sure about it on the Lariat grill. So, uh, yeah, drop a comment down below. What do you think? Leave the bug deflector on or take it off? I have to take it off to put the new one on anyways, but, uh, yeah. That was, uh... My trip, it went really well actually, and I might do one more outing this week with the truck too. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, as well as subscribe for more. Have a great day everyone.